All right, welcome back to Mass Effect. In the last video, well, I'm sure you can see by the thing in the lower right corner of the screen, we found Archangel. And he's only Garrus, isn't he? He's only gone and been Garrus. Oh, that's exciting as hell. Get to the console and close that shutter before they can get through. Hurry up. I'm hurrying. Eh. Shut down. Oh, holy hell. Warp them. Come on, come on, yes. There's two more shutters. Get them close fast. Yeah, we'll do. We'll do, Garrus. Well, oh crap. Yeah, I think for this kind of distance, my best kind of weapon's gonna be the SMG. Oh dear. Get into cover. Oh, holy mother of Jesus. Oh dear. What the frick? Oh, um. <laughs> that was very bad. Let's resume. In trouble? Yes, I just died. Thank you. I did pull up the weapon bar and it, 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 it did not do anything. Well, it did kind of pause the game, technically, but... Alright, so where are we? Oh, I guess we're going this way. Well, I'll switch the phalanx, actually. Oh hell, I'm gonna die again, aren't I? Here we go. Not many shots per clip with this gun. I've gotta watch out for that flamethrower guy. I'll get under cover here. Oh, good. I, you actually can't get me here. Oh, boom! Here they come. There's not too many yet. Yet. Come on, get that. Seal. Come around a warp. Yes, I've used it. Hurry up! Don't get too close. Yes. Just one more shutter. Hurry. I'm hurrying. You don't need to tell me twice, although you probably will anyway. Go on. We need to get another one before they get in. Because if they get in, that could spell very bad things. Very, very bad things. Holy jeez! Whoa! Um. Uh, yeah, sniper rifle, please. Whoa! Nice one, Miranda. Oh crap! We got Varen. Holding out, for now. Dealing with shutters would help. Nice! Get closer. Now let this is tough. One last! Enemy down! Run! Watch the Krogan! Oh, hell. Yeah. Night, night. 
I've not got much ammo left. There's ammo there, though. I'm taking it. I'm trying to incinerate him. Come on. Seal. Stay here and shoot anything that moves. Switch back to my sniper. Nice. There we go. They're coming in through the door. Oh dear. Isn't that where we were? Ah, rip them to shreds. <laughs> Watch my back. I'll deal with Archangel. Oh no, you won't. He's under my protection. Thank you very much. Okay, now how am I gonna take down that barrier? It'll have to be my SMG. Incinerate. Get out of the way. Oh, jeez. My shields are down. Got me pinned down. Yeah, I'm coming to get you. <laughs> Don't worry, Garrus. I've got your back. There we go. Good. I need help with this guy, Shepard. You'll get it. Don't worry. Boom! Boom! Bye bye, gum! Oh, we're fully loaded, are we okay? They've stopped. Come find me. Nice. Thanks, Shepard. They hardly got through to me. And we took out Garm and his blood pack. This day just gets better and better. He was one tough son of a bitch. Yeah, I heard you fought him. You fought with him before? Yeah, we tangled once. Caught him alone, none of his gang, to help him. I still couldn't take him out. I've never seen a Krogan regen that fast. He's a freak of nature. He just kept at it until his Vorcha showed up. It was close, but I had to let him go. Not this time. All right, well, should we go? Only the Blue Suns are left. I say we take our chances and fight our way out. I think you're right. Tarek's got the toughest group, but nothing we haven't faced before. Besides, he won't be expecting us to meet him head on. Heads up! And there's the gunship. <laughs> uh, Morden, you want to move? They fixed it, but not completely. I made sure of that. They're offloading troops. <laughs> what? I thought I shot him. <sighs> oh, crap. Oh, dear. Nothing I have will work against these things. I might as well put disruptor ammo on my thing. Alright, now she's going down. Almost at least. Consider it. In the head. Oh, he's one tough son of a... Well, the other, the other guys take him down. I think if I sit here, I'll constantly get ammo. Oh, crap. Can't let him get up the stairs. And they're not going to either. Not that one! Well, hopefully. Oh, come on, give me a challenge. Oh, he got one shot, huh? For free. And next one. Oh, nearly down. Thanks, guys. Oh, 
Don't give a sniper reloaded now, though. What's next? And the gunship. Cover, Garrus. Oh, holy hell. All right, now. Oh. Ow. Garrus? Garrus. You okay? Incoming. Oh, those stupid. Oh. Those stupid. They shot Garrus. That is not allowed. Not allowed, I say. Go. All right, they're not getting away with this. They're going right the hell down. The blue suns are now forever my enemies. Go on, give me more ammo. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Ouch! Engaging hostile. Our next one, I'm cloak hitting it. Oh man! Uh. Next time the gunship shows up, I'm cloaking. Cloak engaged. <laughs> Garrus, um, buddy. Holy hell. <laughs> well, he's alive. We're getting you out of here, Garrus. Just hold on. Radio Joker, make sure they're ready for us. Now that's a nasty sound. We need to get him out of here. Yeah, we do. Thank you. Do we? Oh, we don't have to fight out. Oh, that, that, that's kind of good. <laughs> oh, we leveled up. Extracted Archangel from Mercenary Siege and recruited him for the team. Unclear whether injury to Archangel will impair his ability to assist in the mission. Regardless, revelation of identity is Garrus Vicarian. Useful in keeping, keeping Shepard comfortable. Yes, it is. Because I love Garrus. <laughs> ah, SMG damage upgrade and tech damage upgrade. And some Ezo. Which will be good for the tech damage upgrade. And how much money did I get? 40,000 in all. Not bad. 20,000 service running. That's not too shabby. Alright, so let's get back to the Normandy. Which we are kind of on now, automatically. <laughs> Commander. We've done what we could for Garrus, but he took a bad hit. Oh. The doc's corrected with surgical procedures and some cybernetics. Best we can tell, he'll have full functionality, but... But? <laughs> <laughs> Tough son of a bitch. Didn't think he'd be up yet. Nobody would give me a mirror. How bad is it? <laughs> no worse than usual. Hell, Garrus, you were always ugly. Slap some face paint on there, and no one will even notice. <laughs> oh, oh, don't make me laugh. Damn it, my face is barely holding together as it is. Ah, uh, probably for the best. Everyone was always ignoring you and hitting on me. Time for you to get a fair shot. Ooh. <laughs> oh! Ah, Garrett, it's damn good to have you here. Frankly, I'm more worried about you. Cerberus Shepard. You remember those sick experiments they were doing? Oh, yes, I do, but I'm sure you've got my back. That's why I'm glad you're here, Garrus. If I'm walking into hell, I want someone I trust at my side. You realize this plan has me walking into hell, too. Hmm. Just like old times. I'm fit for duty whenever you need me, Shepard. I'll settle in and see what I can do with the forward batteries. Excellent. Very, very, very nice. Now let's go do this research. Because tech damage is useful for me. 
All right, let's see. Prototypes? Nope, it's not in there. In fact, what do we need for this avalanche? One more heavy weapon ammo upgrade, okay. And weapon upgrades. SMG damage. Let's do it. I didn't even need to look at the resources because I've already got so many of them. <laughs> SMG shield piercing. Oh, one more damage upgrade for it. Oh, wow. Oh, that is such a significant upgrade. Okay, any armor things? Ah, tech damage is an armor upgrade, okay. Thousand easel, can do that. Hey, another medijal capacity. Might as well. Oh, tech duration. Yeah, sure. And then there was another one there as well. Trauma module. Unity heals your squad to full health. Hell yes. Okay, suddenly a lot of research is available. All right, no prototypes, apart from the one I don't want. No ship enhancements, but the med bay. And no weapon upgrades, excellent. Now, did Morden have anything? Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, would like that, actually. Talked about work earlier, time with special tasks group studying genophage. It wasn't entirely honest. Lie of omission. Also, <laughs> other kinds need to clear the air. Mission too important to keep secrets. Work on genophage was more than just study. Yeah, I did think that. What was the special task group doing with the Krogan genophage? Study at first, as I said, but uncovered surprising data. Krogan population was increasing at faster rate than expected. Krogan were adapting to genophage, overcoming disease. How? Did the Krogan evolve, or did some of their scientists develop a treatment? Krogan scientists? <laughs> Never met Krogan scientists worthy of term. No. Natural evolution. Krogan physiology incredibly durable. Organ redundancy, backup systems, cellular regeneration. Genophage like any other natural hazard. Krogan evolved past it. Maybe they were just having a lucky year. Or a fewer mercs left, meaning more Krogan were left to repopulate. Please, Shepard. Social environmental concerns accounted for. Not an undergraduate. Population <laughs> spike caused by adaptation to genophage. No other possibility. Oh, uh, not an undergraduate. I suppose in a way it's a good thing, but... As for right now, it's a good thing. But back then... I'm sure it will be a rather bad thing, because I really don't know. The genophage was a terrible mistake. It nearly destroyed the Krogan and their culture. Now they have a chance to recover. Naive viewpoint. Krogan too dangerous to allow unchecked birth rate. Look at Krogan rebellions. Personally led a science team. Geneticists, chemists, sociologists, mathematicians. Created new version of genophage. Released it onto Chanka, other Krogan-centric areas. Restabilized Krogan population. Now, how? How did you distribute the modified genophage? Covert drops, hospitals, clan centers, water supplies. Very difficult. Few Solarians on Tuchanka. Team got caught a few times. Had to fight free. Messy. Better when things went as planned. I'm sure it was. Uh, what, what exactly were the modifications? How did your genophage modification work? Krogan Evolution attached garbage genetic code to genophage attack sites. Modification created other areas for garbage code to connect. Left sites clean, capable, running smoothly. Wow, well. I'm not going to tell him it was wrong. Because honestly, I don't... I really don't know. That was the best choice? You never considered other options? Hundreds. Thousands. Modified genophage offered best outcome. Stabilized population, avoided publicity that could incite Krogan anger, averted potential genocide, or devastating war. Best solution for whole galaxy, Krogan included. If the Krogan are so dangerous, why not just sterilize them outright? Not a war criminal, not a murderer, genocide, unnecessary. Krogan as a whole, violent, aggressive, still have outliers worth saving. Genophage modification protected galaxy, allowed Krogan chance to survive. Everyone wins. Good for us, good for them. Honestly, given the rebellions, given the fact that just outright sterilizing would, out, outright sterilizing them would, as Morden just said, be just genocide, nothing more, nothing less. 
It was clearly the best, most logical option. I've got to agree. You were protecting galactic stability. I'm glad to see you were willing to do what was necessary. Indeed. Collectors doing horrific things may face hard choices. Wanted you to know I'm willing to do what's necessary. Should get back to work. Talk more later. Next time, tissue synthesis has to compile. Good for free time. Uh, oh, did he get more things? Ah, oh, no, that's just what I bought. I just want to check, though. I want to make sure. Go on. And ship enhancements, no. Prototypes, no. Excellent. Now let's get to... Let's see Garrus and see what he's up to. Kelly? How is our newest Turian crew member doing? His injuries looked painful. I would say I worry about him. Honestly, he's a, he's a hard ass. He's a soldier. It'll take a lot more than that to keep him down. There's something about him. I just want to hold him close and whisper... It will be all right. Ooh la la. Are you attracted to other species? Well, part of my job is predicting the motives and feelings of humans and aliens. Intimacy brings understanding. And passion is nice wherever you find it. Character matters, not race or gender. Anything else, Commander? Thank you, Kelly. That is very true. Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? Uh, no, I guess that's everything then. That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Yeah, you just told me that. Let's see what we've got. Oh, wow. Uh, from Cerberus Command. Reports tell us you've been operating in the Omega Nebula. We'd like you to take a look into a situation on Lorek, a nearby planet in the Fathos system. Scan the planet for a base where, you, where we believe Eclipse Mercs are holding one of our operatives. You should be able to, de to detect the operative's transmitter. Extract the operative. If the operative is beyond rescue, recover any relevant intel that Eclipse may have recovered or collected. Very delicate matter. We trust in your discretion, okay? I'll do that. You're alive? Hey, from my mother. Uh, that's a very formal letter from my mom, isn't it? So I have to find out my child is alive third hand from the Alliance Brass? Where the hell have you been? I figure whatever you're doing is classified, likely a part of your Spectre operations. Just stay safe out there and keep doing your mum proud. And sneak something through a secure channel next time. <laughs> I will, I will. Ah, Shira! I thought that my gift of words had been, had been incorrect, an embarrassing notion. But my contacts tell me you, you yet survive. I'm pleased to hear that your journey continues, though I sense that you head toward an even deeper dan an even deeper darkness, of course. When you fought Saren, only your resolve was tested, but now I fear you cannot rely only on your own strength. Take whatever steps you must to ensure that those battling at your side fight with clear minds and glad hearts. I will. Glad I didn't sign up. Hey, Arya giving you this address. I think I met you at Afterlife on Omega. You stopped me from joining up with those mercs. Oh, that was the kid. The guy. Man, I was so pissed off at you. I got blind drunk that night, and it was a few days later before I got it together enough to check the news vids and saw that almost all of those mercs had gotten killed by Archangel. I don't know who you are if you got out of there alive yourself, but thanks. I felt really stupid when I heard about the body count and how I could have been part of it. Well, that's very good. Things are quiet again. Ah, that'll be Daniel, yeah. Commander, I wanted to thank you again for saving me from those Batarians. I thought I'd seen the worst of people's anger and fear at Dr. Solis' clinic. I had no idea how much anger his work was keeping me in check, how bad it really was. If not for you, I'd be dead. Thank you. Well, you're welcome. The clinic is doing well. You got rid of most of the plague and have been able to handle the rest without too much trouble. The Blue Suns keep offering to take over security here. I keep the mechs powered on. I won't make the same mistake twice. Excellent. Okay, now, to the cruise quarters where Gaddis is there. Okay, it's only fair. We've just picked the guy up. We've got to talk to him. Rupert, there's something different with tonight's meal. Seems like you put in more food and less ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, keep talking. I'm sure he's a good kook. And now we can get into the main battery. Hello, Garrus. Shepard, need me for something? I just want to talk. Have you got a minute? 
Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we'd joined up with them sooner. Hey, we're not with them. We haven't joined Cerberus. They're funding our mission. That's all. Relax, Shepard. Just a figure of speech. I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. I wouldn't blame you. What did your merc squad do? It didn't sound like you were available for hire. You saw Omega. It was full of thugs kicking the helpless. I formed my team to kick back. We weren't mercenaries. At least nobody was paying us. We made money by taking down slavers, pirates, or gangs that went too far. Oh? Yeah, they must have hated you. Doesn't sound like you made any friends with the gangs. I got three separate merc bands to work together to take me down. My manager at CSEC would be impressed. It was simple. We'd hit their shipments, disrupt activities, get under their skin, make them angry. They'd come charging right into our well-prepared kill zone, crossfire and sniper. Clean and surgical. They never stood a chance. Now, I don't really want to say that, because it doesn't, it doesn't really sound like he was a thug. It sounds like he's... Well, us. It sounds like he's Shepard doing what we do now. So I don't really want to say that. Uh, did we hear this? What did your merc squad do? Yes, we did. Sound like you were available. You saw. We weren't. We made money by taking down slavers, pirates. How'd you end up fighting mercenaries here on Omega? After the Normandy was destroyed, most of us went our separate ways. CSEC asked me back, but I turned them down. Omega was filled with criminals nobody else could touch, and there was no red tape to slow me down. It was a perfect fit. People here needed someone to believe in, someone to stand up to the local thugs. How do you end up getting a group, though? That explains how you started. How'd you end up with a squad? Not too different from how you formed your squad to fight Saren, actually. You prove that you get things done, and people join up. Mercs who wanted to atone. Security consultants tired of playing by the rules. I gave them hope. And now they're dead. Shows what I know. I don't blame yourself. Tell me about your squad. There were twelve of us, including me. Former military operatives, CSEC agents, the usual. Had a Salarian explosives expert. Pretty sure he'd spent time in the special task. Ooh. My tech expert was a Batarian, believe it or not. Not the friendliest guy, but he could hack any system ever built. And what happened to you? How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidonis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. Well, give me the rundown. I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sidonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad. And they didn't last long. Are you sure it was a betrayal? Maybe they took Sedona's out first. No. I put out feelers with some old contacts. He booked transport off Omega just before the attack. He also cleared out his private accounts before he left. He sold me out and ran. Wow, do you know where he is? Do you know where Sedona's is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sedona's. One day I'll find him and correct that. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. Well, that does not sound like a very pleasant situation. So, I'm going to leave the video here. And in the next one, let's see who we can go and pick up next. Because I do intend to pick up as many people as I can first. And then get around to helping people. Okay, so let's see the dossiers. We've got the convict or the warlord. Who do you think? I would flip a coin, but I don't think I've got a coin. Oh, in fact, have I got a coin? My wallet is right here. I do, in fact, have a coin. I'm going to flip a coin. <laughs> I'm actually going to flip a coin live on pre-recording, so not really live, but I'm going to flip a coin. Let's see. Heads, we get the warlord. And it was tail, so we go for the convict next. 
And there goes the wallet, all closed up nicely. <laughs> now the convict, Jack, no last name known. Exceptional biotic ability, note criminal background currently in custody. Jack is rumoured to be the most powerful human biotic ever encountered. Very little additional data regarding Jack is available, except that the subject has a history of violence and should be approached carefully. Currently, Jack is being held on the Turian prison ship Purgatory. Cerberus has negotiated for the prisoner's release. So that is who we're going for next. So, until then... Oh, no, in fact, let's spend points, because we've got points. Points. Now, do I want to save up for operative? Um, I'm almost half full on Paragon already. Man. My Renegade's actually going up rather more quickly than I thought it would. Experience the next level 10? That's not much experience. I'm sure I can find that on the ship, actually, looking around at things to examine. At least I hope I can. Because I would like to get to level 10. Um, is that actually possible? Men's rest room. Can I examine anything in the toilets? I can't. Port observation? Now why on earth would you do that? Why would you have that when you could have that? Hey, Kasumi. Hey, got a minute? Nice outfit. I really appreciate your help with the Hawk Heist. I've been going through Keiji's grey box. It's so nice to have him back. Even in that form, I miss him. I'm still kind of regretting that choice. This is not the healthiest outcome, you know? Not a lot of people go in and out of Dr. Chakwa's office, other than to get medical attention, I mean. I hear you shared a drink with her. That's really nice. I imagine with all that's happened, old friends are becoming a luxury. Yeah, uh, yeah. Gabby and Ken would make a great couple. I just doubt they'll ever realize it. <laughs> I'm sure they would. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. All right, let's get out of here and find something to examine for that 10 experience. I mean, come on, 10 experience. Shepard, the men's restroom is on the port side of the ship. I know. Come on, ladies. I'm waiting. No? Okay. <laughs> Anything in here? Ah! Oh, she's a cutie. How old? Ah, uh, she'll be a year old next month. Oh, you'll miss her first birthday. Well, my family lives in New Canton. Oh, uh, that colony's on the edge of the frontier. Could be vulnerable to collector attack, couldn't it? Exactly. It's most important that she have a first birthday. That's why I'm here. Yeah, okay, that... Uh, th this is gonna turn into a sad story, I just know it. I like how you can see the engine from various points on the ship. I, I actually really like that. But no, there doesn't seem to be anything we can examine. Oh, it would be really nice to... be able to examine something. Is there nothing in here, even? AI core? Access to the AI core is restricted. Why would that be restricted? That doesn't even make sense. No. Oh, I really want that 10 experience. Okay, but anyway, I can't I can't really do it if I can't do it. And I don't think I'm going to spend the points yet. Although Tacto or Cloak rank 3, that would be nice. Oh, that damage bonus. It doubles every... Yeah, in fact, it doubles, I think, everything. Oh. Greatly increases the damage bonus or increases the duration. I think it's definitely got to be damage for that, really. Oh, but if I would like that as well. <sighs> Increases weapon damage and focus when in sniper zoom. Oh, damage or duration. I really don't. I think I've got to go with assassin for that as well. But anyway, <laughs> until next time, when we will get the convict... Bye for now.